Hey there guys, and welcome to kind of a special introduction to Chapter 7 in Dead Space. And I know this is not what you're used to seeing, but unfortunately the first half hour or so of this chapter, the footage actually got corrupted and deleted from my system. I didn't realize this until uh, just now. Uh, so normally I would just go back and start the level over again, just for the sake of the videos, but um, I've actually been being kind of stupid and saving over my previous saves instead of creating a new save every time. Um, I won't make that mistake again, just in case that happens, of course. But uh, that means I am missing about 30 minutes or so of this chapter. Not too much. I would say I'm probably halfway through it. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a recap of kind of uh, what's happened so far. Um, and if I can bring up my map here, I can kind of show you guys. Uh, okay. Uh, how do we zoom out? Zoom out. Okay, there we go. Aha. Okay, so if you guys can see at the very top where there's that kind of camera thing, um, that was the, where the tram's at. I don't know if you can kind of see how it's like, that's where the tram's at, at the very top there. And then there's a giant elevator shaft, and the elevator shaft took me to three different levels. However, the middle level was uh, locked, so I had to go to the top and the bottom level to get um, keys or beacons or something that allowed me access to the middle level, inevitably. Um, and that's where I'm heading now. Um, kind of a rundown of some of the stuff that's happened. What's this? Um, is I don't think anything too important happened with the story except that. Can I grab that? No, I don't think so. Um, actually, I did see my girlfriend finally, like in person for the first time, and that was actually right over there where I'm pointing my crosshair right now. Um, and I didn't actually get to like touch her or anything, uh, but she was like, because she was across the platforms, but I did see her. Something seemed kind of off about her. I'm not quite sure um, if she's completely okay or, or what's going on with her yet. And I actually uh, kind of... Oh god, the body moved on its own? Maybe I, I nudged it or something. Anyway, I'm kind of weirded out because actually um, I destroyed these corpses, but since I had to save and reload the game, uh, they've respawned. So, uh, that's basically what's been happening. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, already getting started a little bit. Uh, and my inventory's full. Oh man, what's been going on? I have a ton of med packs here. I don't even think I can use them. Nope, I'm completely full health. So we'll drop one. Yeah. Cause I oh ah, dang it, I just picked it right back up. Because I'd rather take the uh, contact the energy. The what the hell? It was a security lockdown, although I don't think it helped them. Now that you've got the beacon and the key, head over there. It looks like the asteroid is held in place by some gravity tethers. Ah. You'll have to knock those out before you can launch it. Okay, so as she talks throughout the level, I'll probably remember more and more of what happened. Um, I'm actually recording this a while, about a week later after recording the first half of this chapter, and that's because I spent about the last week, you know, taking care of some, some real life personal stuff, but also um, going through and fixing all the stuff that was on my computer. You know, my, I've had my computer for about a year now, so it just kind of needed a, um, you know, just a little bit of maintenance and stuff like that. Um, there we go. So, but uh, as I was saying, I am kind of remembering some of the stuff that happened since it has been a while. Um, so you can see preparation is the main deck that I started it. Uh, the level at. Processing was the first place I went to. Maintenance is where I just came from, which pretty much the only thing of importance there was the girl. Um, processing, now that's what she was talking about with the asteroids. I'll go to mining while I'm talking. Um, there was this area where there was these asteroids floating in zero-g and I had to use my stasis, or not my stasis, my um, force grab thingy to actually throw the asteroids uh, in this giant tunnel of death, basically. Basically just cleaning up the area. Um, this looks kind of interesting. I'm wondering, are we out in space here? I don't have a, an air thing. Oh. Ah. oh, hello. These ones appear to be damaged already quite heavily. Oh god, there's one of the baby ones right there. I can kind of see it. Oh man, visibility's low. Ah. Am I hitting it? And 
and yeah, so I was basically like the space janitor, where I had to go and take care of all these asteroids, and, and I, I think I had to do that in order for a gate or some something to unlock. I don't really know. I don't remember. It was kind of fun, I guess. But that basically unlocked that area. Finished off that area. And here I am going to the mining area, which was my goal initially. That's where I initially wanted to go, but of course, nothing is that easy as you can as you can tell. Because you know, everything in this game is always some catch or something. Yeah, I see a bench here. And a store maybe? No, just a bench. Oh, the store is across from there. Cool. My inventory is full, so of course I need to sell some stuff. But I can also spend some power nodes while I'm here. Um I believe I was going to finish off the kinesis. Or no, not the kinesis. The stasis. Yes, yes, of course. Duration, and then I won't be able to finish. There's one more node, and I'm sure I'll be able to buy a node from the store with all this extra stuff I have. That's actually... Oh, God, what the... F <laughs> okay, that scared me a little bit. It didn't, like, make too much noise, just the sudden appearance of him. I don't even know where he came from. I'm assuming he crawled over the edge here, because I don't see where he could have dropped down from. Uh, um, and I probably need to pull that out, but let's let's hold off on that for now. And go over to the store. God, look at all this stuff. Okay. And the cool thing is, actually, I want to get the level 4 suit. So I'm going to do that. I can find it here. There it is. 35,000. Jesus. Uh, and I have 14,000. So let's just get to selling some stuff here. Uh, media med packs. Oh yeah. So all those babies. So the ruby semiconductor, the gold semiconductor, one of the stasis packs. Um, I love contact energy, but unfortunately it's got to go. Okay, wait, I have, I have way... I have definitely enough money. Okay, so let me get the level 4 suit. Oh yeah, come to Papa. And I was speculating a while back in one of the episodes that there would be up to level 5 suits. Or up to a level 5 suit, because the way the inventory was spaced out, it looked like there was room for maybe one more upgrade. There was enough inventory slots for one more upgrade after this one. But I could be wrong. And with each new level of suit, I'm starting to look closer and closer to what I had always imagined Isaac looked like. Because um, this is the first game I've played in the Dead Space series. Uh, so the only time I've seen Isaac is in pictures and, and, you know, trailers and things like that. And when I first started out, I was like, this is not what I imagined he would look like. Oh. Processing log. Supervisor, second that engineer, Dallas, reporting. This will be my last oh. report. I've seen what they do to the bodies. Whoa. It's a grinder. What they become. Oh, this must be... Oh, and this I is called the mining happen. area. At least if I don't have any limbs, I won't be able to kill anyone when I'm infected. Please tell Don. Oh, and God. And the kids. That I love them. Oh, God. Ew. One more. One more. Oh, he like cut uh, or shot off his arms and legs and stuff so he wouldn't infect people. That's pretty gruesome. That's pretty gruesome. Um, okay. I want to buy one power node. And I do actually need some energy for my plasma cutter, which is plasma energy. But as I was saying, this is called the mining room, so this must be, the drill must be on the other side of that, and it's shooting the excess, you know, debris and rock through this anti-grav field that goes into a giant incinerator. This is exactly like the processing room, the processing room, or no, not incinerator, that takes it to the processing room, and the processing room 
um, well, basically processes the ore, I guess, so that it finds all the good stuffs. Oop, before I go, need to go upgrade. It's all starting to make sense now. Kinesis. No, not Kinesis. Why do I always do that? Stasis. And there we go. Okay. Now I can focus my upgrades on other stuff. Um, and let's see here. Yeah. So as you can see, like with each new upgrade, kind of a new line. Maybe there might be up to six suits. Depends. There's a whole other line of the inventory you see at the bottom that's kind of grayed out. So that's either one or two more suits worth of inventory space. Uh, what I'm kind of wondering is if I need to, like... Okay. Is there going to be, like, a monster that's going to come up and say hi? I'm assuming I need to use the elevator, so I don't know why I would pull that out, but... Yeah, that didn't do anything. Why did I do that? It just, you know, in these games it seems weird that something would be already done for you. <laughs> One thing that I was kind of been doing, has been, I've been taking these bodies and throwing them off the ledge just so that there's no possibility of them getting infected at all. And I did run into two of those flying things that infects two of those flying necromorphs that makes necromorphs out of the corpses. Yeah, so. They're definitely in this level. Definitely around. Mining control locked. Wait. Oh, I do have the key. Okay, cool. So we're off to mining control, and that's a body. Hello. How are you, young man? Bye, young man. Um, I'm kind of worried that one of those flying things... Oh. That spooked me a little bit. I don't know, I'm just really on edge, because <laughs> anything could happen. This looks pretty cool. I'm worried about something right through there. Breaking those vents, as I, I think I've discussed before, is kind of a double-edged sword, because you don't, you aren't able to hear them, but at the same time, they don't scare the crap out of you by making loud, obnoxious noises. Anyway. Tethers must be deactivated. I can see the tethers I th right there and there. There's one in each corner, but where are they? How do I deactivate them? Suppose I should be following my map, huh? Okay, so let's do this. Obviously, I, I wasn't supposed to come here yet. I was supposed to go somewhere else beforehand. Well, hopefully we won't have to do too much backtracking. Run, Isaac, run! Really? Back the way I came. Okay. Oh, while I'm here, I might as well save. And like I said, I'm going to create a new save, so just in case. Alright, there we go. Right here. Oh, there he is. Exploders. I like th these guys are kind of fun, except, you know, when they try to ambush you right next to you. And they're not so fun. I guess I gotta go to the side first. Oh, okay, it all makes sense now. I need to take the generator from this door and put it in the other door. It's just the noises of the rock. <laughs> See, I was I was all confused because I couldn't figure out what to do. It, it seemed so obvious the entire time. If I had just actually followed my map, it would have been really obvious what I needed to do. But I'm a rebel. I listen to rules, instructions. And, oh my god! Go and are you kidding? What the heck? 
Go in the hull. Oh. Okay, I'm an idiot. I just had to let go of it. <laughs> I thought it... I just assumed it would have automatically let go of it. Oh, we're going down this time. 